going to start off by talking about a read option quarterback. How's that? <laughs> Let's talk about Bobby Petrino, Taylor Green, and that Arkansas offense because, my goodness gracious, have they been something to behold. Now, obviously, they have not had a perfect season, but um, what they have done is shown – beyond a level of improvement to a level of wow improvement. Like I said, it hasn't come through in every single game, but I think you could say it was a level of wow improvement. And the reason I'm not just talking about Bobby Petrino is because no matter how incredible the schemes of Bobby Petrino are, I don't think it happens on the same level if he had not been able to in our transfer portal uh, era that we live in, handpick the quarterback that he wanted to come and be a part of the system. I think that makes all the difference in the world. So when you look at Arkansas's offense year over year, listen to this number, 160 more yards per game average year over year, 160 yards more per game Taylor Green is at 2,056 yards passing with uh, 17 touchdowns or 11 touchdowns. His one big thing that I think is has been the moment thing that's kind of held Arkansas back a little bit at times is, is ball control. He, he, likes, he likes to throw it to the other team more than he should. That's something he's, he's definitely got to work on because 11 TDs are fantastic. However, seven interceptions, not so much. So just in the – being real in, in the um, evaluation, I, I think that has to be pointed out. But then you also have on the other side of that, going back to that whole read option and 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 what rushing a rushing quarterback brings to the table, 395 yards uh, and, and five touchdowns with his legs. When you look at this, the, the complementary pair of Bobby Petrino and Taylor Green, there is no doubt when you look at 2,000 yards passing, over 300 yards rushing, uh, that Taylor Green brings a lot to the table. And he has uh, allowed this Bobby Petrino uh, offense to flourish and, and expand to the point that, I mean, we're, we're looking at a Sam Pittman team that has five wins. It's looking at bowl eligibility. And, and anybody that's a fan of Sam Pittman, you, you got to love that. And, of course, Arkansas loves that it's after the way last year went. However, I think you also have to look at that from the other side and say, yes, Taylor Green brings incredible athleticism to the table, but that ath- athleticism uh, is has an even greater impact when it's inside of a Bobby Petrino system. Because, yes – the yardage, both running and passing, is impressive. But when you look at the per attempt on both of those, he is, with his arm, averaging 8.3 yards per attempt, and with his legs, averaging 4.2 yards per attempt. That is athleticism working within a scheme. When you are at that level per attempt, both with your arm and with your legs. So I'm, I'm super pumped. Uh, about what Sam Pittman's year has looked like, especially compared to last year. I'm super pumped that it looks like Sam Pittman is going to go beyond this year and survive this year. Bobby Petrino, hate him, love him, leave him, whatever. You cannot deny the impact he's had on both Arkansas this year and ultimately Sam Pittman's career. Good for Bobby Petrino, good for Sam Pittman, and awesome for Taylor Green that he's found an offense to flourish within. 